push your as high as you can that's underneath that counterbalance spring. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Especially with you holding it. Oh yeah. That's, that helps. Yeah. You got two liters of water back here and right. 2,000 psi of O2. Right. That's great. Okay. Jim, boss, we're ready for you. Charles, you gonna hang out here or you gonna come in? Mm -hmm. okay. Mike, we'll do it, Dave. Uh, I sure just do. Yell at him. I got a headset. Already. Uh, one quick question. I don't think this will matter to me, but I want to make sure you know. I don't have uh, any treatment. Don't know what's going to be part of the treatment. Uh, I, I can get you in. I don't have any extra headsets, but you could probably just kind of listen pretty close and understand probably more than I'll ever know. Cool. How about, uh, why don't you go ahead and follow me? Okay. We need to lose our shoes or anything? Oh, yeah. No, no your shoes are okay. Okay, well they got boots on. Well that's easy. I would do that anyhow. Get them in here and get them behind you. Yeah, that's cool. That's right. Remind everybody to pull the green apple and lower and lock their visor and make sure they pull the green apple all the way out. Full travel. Okay, this time it will be a full. Absolutely. This will be it. Okay, good. Yeah. Ah! Hmm. Standard with the big dogs. I was going to ask you, I thought the standard was like a little one, so the non standard big dogs. They come in standard. Watch your ears. Wait a minute, this microphone is jammed down in there somewhere. Actually, I'm not sure since these toy in there. Yeah, it shouldn't matter to what they do. Yeah. Big dogs got plenty of room for we're headed down over the water. Um, we'll just assume that we have gone ahead and uh, gone into auto and we've got uh, 603 uh, or 305 up in this particular case. Flight controller powers are off and we're gliding. Uh, you can check your tabs, close your visors.
We'll probably just turn on the way you just had it a few seconds ago. The right way. Inside out? Yeah, inside out. That's it. <sighs> Thanks. <laughs> Relief. I think it looks okay, uh, but that's the only thing I can see if you go a little faster. And that, I think in real life, if we can achieve gliding flight before you boil it, it is better to get everybody downstairs because there's going to be a lot of wind going by there. It's going to make it harder to get down. And I'm not entirely sure that if you got close enough to that hatch, you wouldn't get sucked sure. out if you weren't careful anyhow. So. I don't know what the pressure pattern is around there, but uh, and I'm not sure they know all that well. So, anyway. So essentially, once you give the blow, uh, the go to blow the hatch, it's it's at twenty thousand feet. Out. It's twenty thousand feet, right? Thirty. Thirty. 30. Start going. No, no, no. Blow the hatch at thirty. Yeah. But Everybody's when you start jumping there. out, as soon as you can. Right after thirty. I think as soon as the hatch. I think he's go. Thousand feet a minute to set rate, probably, and the difference between 30 and 20 really isn't all that much. So probably once the hatch is blown, given how long it actually takes to get out, we should just go. All right. But it was still a good-looking ride, and the time was uh, just a shade over two minutes.